Hi guys, in this video we're still in the Z distribution, except this time we're asking perhaps the last question we can. Okay, I've flipped it all over the place and this is the last one I can conceive of. If you could think of any others, please be sure to put them down in the comments, okay? But this is strictly for standard normal distributions to get really, um, uh, get good practice on uh, dealing with the tables and these concepts of percentages and getting into good habits of drawing pictures, shading areas, and knowing how to deal with the, the uh, addition or subtraction of areas when needed. Okay, so in this example, <clears throat> example seven, what percentage of the z values is below z equals negative one and above 1.96? So let's draw a picture. Here's our z distribution. Getting a little better at these pictures, if you've noticed, if you've been following these uh, this series of lectures or examples. Here's my z-axis. Here is negative one. Let me just draw a vertical line up. But I got better. I didn't get good yet. And here's 1.96. Let's say definitely to the right of zero. Let me use green. I want above 1.96, right? That's what the question's asking me. And below negative 1. So I want these two areas, right? And I want one number in the end. Okay, I want the percentage of data represented by this shaded region or these shaded regions. Okay, if you watched question six, we did the opposite. We got in here between these two numbers. So now I want to do outside. Okay, <clears throat> so first thing to do is to look up our z values. We look up z equals negative one and we get 0.3413. That is this number here. And if you've watched all these at this point, you should get you should be quite comfortable with what that number is from the table. Okay? Here's one point, here's one, <clears throat> three, four, one, three. That's from zero to one, which is the same this way. Three, four, one, three. That's not what we want, but it's definitely on the way to what we want. We look up Z equals 1.96. and we get 0.475 okay that is this by the way remember that the area under the entire curve is 1 or 100 percent okay so this plus this plus whatever this is, plus whatever this is, should add up to one, okay? We could maybe check that at the very end. But let's now go about getting what we want. So let's get this guy first. This is a tail probability, and we did an example with a tail probability earlier in maybe question three. So go back and watch that video. In order to get a tail probability from a body probability, you know that this entire side is 0.5. You know the part that you don't want is 34. So to get the part that you do want, you take away from 0.5 just the 34 and you're left with what you actually want. Okay? So 0.5 minus 3413. And I'm going to just use a calculator here. I don't feel like making a silly mistake in front of an international audience. 15.87. Okay? So 0.1587 is the area of our left tail or our lower tail. Now we follow the same logic to get the area of our upper tail, this guy. 
if the whole side is 50%, the part that we don't want is 47.5%. Why don't we take away the part that we don't want from the whole side and get end up getting what we actually do want? Okay, let me get rid of all these guys. Okay. And what we'll be left with is 2.5%, right? All right, so we got this guy. Now, to give the answer to this question, okay, what we'll have to do is add up this area To this area and since we did all the difficulty already let's just do the addition now so 0.1587 plus 0 0.025 okay 18.37 percent let's just check that Yes. So the answer to this question is 18.37% of the data is below z equals negative 1 and above positive 1.96. All right? So, I mean, this is, I mean, if you're getting this by now, it's just combining and looking at this curve in every possible way we can. Let's just do a check that I promised earlier in the video. Let's check that this guy plus this guy plus this guy plus this guy add up to 1. Because the total area of the curve should be 1. And these are 4 parts. We split it into 4 parts here. So 0.1587 plus 0.3413 plus 0.475 plus 0.025 okay let's do this carefully 0.1587 plus 0.1587 yep and they do they add up to 1 or 100 percent and that agrees with the basic fundamental properties of probability Okay, that 100% or 1, area of 1, is under the curve. Alright, so I hope these were helpful. Continue watching this, these videos, because I'm going to continue doing questions that are going to get more and more, progressively more and more difficult. Okay, so till next time, subscribe and have a great day.